উন্নত বিশ্বের আর্থ সামাজিক রাজনৈতিক এবং রাষ্ট্রীয় নিরাপত্তার একটা বিশেষ অংশ জড়িত থাকে অভিবাসন তথা ইমিগ্রেশন আইনের সাথে আর এই জন্যই উন্নত বিশ্বের ইমিগ্রেশন আইন খুব দ্রুতই পরিবর্তন হয় আর এই পরিবর্তনের কারণে আমরা অনেক সময় এই আইনগুলোকে কঠিন মনে করি কিংবা এই আইনের অনেক বিষয়ই আমরা আর জানার আগ্রহ হারিয়ে ফেলি কিন্তু তারপরেও বলতে হয় যে যদি আমরা জানি যদি আমরা এই পরিবর্তনগুলির সাথে নিজেকে আপডেট করে রাখি তাহলে কিন্তু অনেক বিষয় আমরা জানতে পারি এবং সেই আইনগুলোর সুযোগ নিতে পারি সুপ্রিয় দর্শক শ্রোতা অনেক প্রীতি ও শুভেচ্ছা জানিয়ে শুরু করছি আপনাদের ভালো লাগার অনুষ্ঠান এল বি টোয়েন্টি ফোর তথা ওয়ান বাংলা টিভির নিয়মিত আয়োজন ল অ্যান্ড অ্যাকশন উইথ শিবলি সাদিক প্রোগ্রামটি আজ আমাদের আঠারোতম পর্ব প্রচারিত হচ্ছে ইতিপূর্বে আমাদের আরও সতেরোটি পর্ব প্রচারিত হয়েছে যদি আপনারা ইতিপূর্বের পর্বগুলো দেখতে চান তাহলে আপনারা এল বি টোয়েন্টি ফোর কিংবা ওয়ান বাংলা অ্যাপটি আপনার স্মার্টফোনে যদি ডাউনলোড করেন তাহলে এল বি টোয়েন্টি ফোরের অন্যান্য আয়োজন পাশাপাশি ল অ্যান্ড অ্যাকশন উইথ শিবির সাদিক এই প্রোগ্রামটিও আপনারা দেখতে পাবেন দর্শক শ্রোতা যে কথাটা বলছিলাম যে ইমিগ্রেশন আইন আপনারা জানেন এই অনুষ্ঠানের মাধ্যমে আমরা যুক্তরাজ্যের বিভিন্ন আইন নিয়ে কথা বলি ফ্যামিলি ল ইমিগ্রেশন ল মোটর অফেন্স কিংবা ক্রিমিনাল ল আজ আমরা কথা বলব ইমিগ্রেশন ল নিয়ে যুক্তরাজ্য ইমিগ্রেশন ল নিয়ে এবং বিশেষ করে আমরা টিয়ার ওয়ান এন্টারপ্রেনার এবং এক্সেপশনাল ট্যালেন্ট এই দুটো ক্যাটাগরি নিয়ে কথা বলব যে কথাটা আমরা শুরুতেই বলছিলাম যে ইমিগ্রেশন আইন বিশেষ করে যুক্তরাজ্যের ইমিগ্রেশন আইন সদা পরিবর্তনশীল একটা বিষয় আর এই পরিবর্তনের কারণে বিভিন্ন সময়ে অনেক অ্যাপ্লিক্যান্ট বিভিন্ন সমস্যায় পড়তে পারেন কিংবা নতুন করে যারা অ্যাপ্লিকেশন করতে চাচ্ছেন তারা হয়তো বা এই পরিবর্তনের কারণে অনেক সময় খুব একটা আগ্রহ দেখান না ঠিক তাই আজকে আমরা এমন দুটো ক্যাটাগরি নিয়ে কথা বলব যেই দুটো ক্যাটাগরির ওপর নির্ভর করে যারা ওভারসিজে আসছেন তারা অনেকেই এই দুটো ক্যাটাগরির মাধ্যমে যুক্তরাজ্যে তথা ইউকেতে আসতে পারেন দর্শক শ্রোতা আসুন পরিচিত হই আমাদের আজকের আমন্ত্রিত ইমিগ্রেশন অ্যাডভাইজার আমাদের আজকের আমন্ত্রিত ইমিগ্রেশন অ্যাডভাইজার জনাব আব্দুল কাদের উনি আইসিএস লিগেল অ্যাসোসিয়েটসের একজন ইমিগ্রেশন সিনিয়র ইমিগ্রেশন অ্যাডভাইজার যার ইমিগ্রেশনে দীর্ঘ প্রায় দশ বছরেরও সময়ের অভিজ্ঞতা রয়েছে আসুন আমরা পরিচিত হই আমাদের আজকের ইমিগ্রেশন অ্যাডভাইজারের সাথে আমরা চেষ্টা করবো আজকে কথা বলতে তো প্রথমে আমি আপনার কাছ থেকে জানতে চাইবো যে টিয়ার ওয়ান এক্সেপশনাল এটা বলতে কি বোঝায় Well, since 2008, when the Home Office had been making changes and the new government, Conservative government, had come in, what they wanted to do, as the UK being the fifth largest economy in the world, they wanted to retain talent. And part of the changes and the introduction of the points-based system was to recoup that talent and try and keep it as much as in, the, in the UK as possible. The exceptional talent is to work with the British industries, Um, in terms of um, highly skilled uh, migrants required for the medical field, engineering, digital technology. And as that has been improving, we have seen that the Home Office have continued their chance of moving that forward. And that is the exceptional talent. Good. Uh, uh, actor- আমরা একটা টেন্ডেন্সি আছে যে এই যেহেতু এক্সেপশনাল ট্যালেন্ট ক্ষেত্রে যদি আমরা বাংলাদেশের কথা ধরি তাহলে বাংলাদেশের অনেক ক্যান্ডিডেট মনে করে হয়তো বা আমাকে দেবে না Uh, even even after they have all the uh, criteria all the skills to fill up these conditions and requirements absolutely i think that has changed over the last decade uh, bangladeshi nationals ha- are much more talented we've seen an influx of students come to the uk studying with good universities taking good i would say course progression and moving into that field so i think that stance has changed and it is improving as always uh, সো আমরা যদি টেয়ার ওয়ান এক্সেপশনাল ট্যালেন্ট সম্বন্ধে জানতে চাই যে যদি কেউ একজন সেই ফর এক্সাম্পল ফ্রম ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং স্কিল ওর ফ্রম ফার্মেসি ওর ফ্রম মেডিকেল ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড যদি সে ইচ্ছা করে যে ইয়েস হি ওয়ান্টস টু ওর শি ওয়ান্টস টু ডু ইট শি ওয়ান্স টু মেক অ্যান অ্যাপ্লিকেশন অফ ইট দেন হাউ টু স্টার্ট ইট ওয়েল ইট ওয়ার্কস ইন টু স্টেজেস দ্য টেয়ার ওয়ান এক্সেপশনাল ট্যালেন্ট ইনিশিয়ালি ইট গোজ থ্রু এন এন্ডোর্সমেন্ট প্রসেস সো দেয়ার আর ডেজিগনেটেড বডিজ দ্য হোম অফিস হ্যাভ ইন অ্যাকশন 
in order to manage that endorsement process. Part of that, again, an applicant would be required to demonstrate to the home office. I'll interrupt you. When you say endorsement, what do you mean by endorsement? So they need to obtain an approval based on their past experiences. So this is the endorsement that they will obtain from the home office. And this is an application that they would be making to the home office. Is it a, a part stage one or something like it that? It is a stage one process. So it works in two, two stages. So the endorsement process is stage one. That is correct. Yes. So what are the documents or uh, other things you need for in, stage one? In terms of the stage one process, an applicant would be required to provide documents covering their past experience about their employment, um, published um, journals that they may have done, um, any recognition nationally that they have received from an awarding body that is recognised in that particular country, or if they've worked with any government agencies as part of a programme. And these are experiences that they would look to combine along with recommendations making the, tail, uh, the endorsement application, which is the stage one process. Do they need any previous experience or just a fresh uh, uh, talent? Just finish their degree? It works in two stages. Now, the Home Office have something called the promise and the talent in place. Now, promise is someone who would be aspiring to come into that field. Yes, there is that program that they would need to have some level of experience, say minimal submissions in terms of journals or some level of national recognition. It doesn't go into as detail as a talent type application. So, it, I mean, noting it is one visa route, it still has that subcategory there that you can choose either one. Okay, when you say stage one, this is the first stage. Obviously, if you are refused, then there is no way to go to the second stage. Absolutely. So, how to make a successful application for stage one, for tier one exceptional talent route? This is preparation. And this is coming down to the fact as looking at your past experiences, putting an application together based on employment references, any um, attributes that you may have submissions to any, say, for example, if you take digital technology, if you've made any, any um, submissions for, uh, for GitHub, for example, so if you've had any code submissions, etc., part of an application, these are things that you'd be submitting in combining to make the stage one process. Okay, uh, obviously uh, another category is that uh, these applicants must be out of EU. That is correct. Yes, yeah. it is for non-EU migrants. Yeah. So, Akon Prosno theke jai je tara ki application they will submit it to the local high commission or they will have to submit it to home office in UK? This is the home office in the UK. This is the endorsement that it goes through initially. The second stage, which is stage two, that goes through an application process, which is the visa so application. So stage itself. one, there is no application je local je high commission has said, no, no. This is an online company. submission, that is correct, and you will upload your experiences in, and your employment references accordingly and make that endorsement. So submission. these endorsement for the stage one, how long does it take and it, does it include incur any fee? Yes, absolutely. The fee is £456. Um, for the stage one? For the stage one process. Stage two, just to tell you as we're talking about fees, is £152. Um, the timeline it takes on average is eight weeks. Uh, for a stage one for the stage endorsement? One, yes. The second stage, similarly, you will be looking at between four to eight weeks again. Okay. So when, if you are refused for a stage one, so what do you do? Do you make a fresh application again or there is any appeal or review system? Well, there is a review, endorsement review. This is what this is called. And this is only for talented individuals that would be applying. I mean, when we were initially talking about was talent and prospect, the two difference um, in that regard, someone can conduct an endorsement review on that basis. There is a window of 28 days that someone can make a submission within. There is no charge associated with that and someone can, can request the Home Office to conduct that review. Okay. Uh, question question, exceptional talent, obviously the candidate seems he knows what he is going to do, he yeah. or she knows it. But still after, uh, they do some mistake. Absolutely. There can be some mistake. Maybe it's just about the preparation or they mistakenly left something, some information. Mm. So question is, Jodi keu ke nej theke korte chai, 
তাহলে কোন বিষয়গুলোর উপর তার জোর দিতে হবে what are the areas predominantly they must... with the exceptional talent it focuses on your previous experiences of what you've had so again the preparation as you're mentioning is really important when it comes down to that getting credible reference letters um from your past employers and so forth any journal submissions you've had getting the article submission copies etc this is important as part of an application and that is, i mean i wouldn't recommend someone just copy and paste say a particular journal or a uh, research that you had submitted just to copy and paste it but to actually submit that actual submission you made to originally to customize it according to the applicant. absolutely absolutely okay then first stage as you said that it uh, it will take 8 weeks approximately yeah once you are approved for the first stage once you are endorsed by the home yeah. office then you go for second stage yeah so is there any chance you, obviously there is a chance that you may get refused Absolutely. in the second stage i think we can be hopeful everyone should be hopeful watching this program so the question is when you get refused in the second stage and if you want to go for review so do you review for only for second stage or you need to do everything from the beginning well depends i mean again if you have the endorsement letter if i mean again as you're talking about the second stage which is the visa application process now primarily what the requirement is is that someone receives the endorsement and that has a validity of 3 months so anyone receiving acceptance with the initial stage must make a visa application within the 3 month validity timeline so that is the core requirement for this application as a whole now if they are refused absolutely if they have the validity they can make a reapplication in that regard if they lose that they would have to go through the stage 1 process all over again so when you say validity so you mean the stage 1 has a time limit yes that is correct it's 3 months that is 3 months that is, months that is correct yes okay so during this 3 months if he is or her second stage get refused and 3 months lapsed then they will have to start from the beginning absolutely that is correct they will have to unfortunately go through the endorsement process again um and they will have to pay the fees there is no uh outline for the home office to uh, intervene on that in any okay, such way okay from your experience i would just ask you one one question that uh, yeah. uh, say for example someone got uh, endorsed for the first stage yeah. but got refused in the second stage so what's the uh, i mean the percentage that they get it in the second stage the second stage is the visa application process now the core aspect or the requirement for this application works within stage 1 itself and that is going through the endorsement process now where someone would receive approval under that i would feel that it is really unlikely that they would be refused on the second stage because the visa application is to give you that uh, biometric card as it may be or the vignet in your passport in order for you to travel to the uk and exercise your rights here so endorsement especially the stage 1 is mm. obviously the most important thing so do you think that once someone uh has the endorsement is something like is highly likely they are going to get it absolutely absolutely without question they should receive that visa application unfortunately at times we see the basic errors with an application someone say may may not submit their passport size photographs may not have disclosed certain information with an application about their previous travel history etc so these things could affect stage 2 um which is the visa application process so, so but so, so other than that just to cut you in on that so long the endorsement process works it should be fine for okay you. fine so as you said that what are the areas they will endorse in stage 1 now the question is in stage 2 what are the areas they are going to check predominantly is going to be the endorsement letter this is the main requirement for this application and that is what you'll need to provide with this stage 2 application and is the home office who provided the endorsement letter so do they Ab- need to check it again that is correct so you'll need to make that submission accordingly you don't need to provide any other extra information in stage 2 in terms of the requirements no there wouldn't be any other requirements for stage 2 okay and another thing say someone has got the successful application everything gone through then how long the visa will be for well initial of with uh, the validity you will have a period of 5 years and 4 months if it's entry clearance if it's leave to remain it'll be for 5 years five years and do you need any uh, sort of like solvency maintenance requirement? maintenance requirement no not with this application there is no maintenance criteria 
So you don't need to show any bank account or any no. any. So not with this application, not with the exceptional talent, no. Okay. Say, so, as you said that if it is entry clearance, then it will be five years, four months. Yes. But can they extend the visa while they are here? Yes. So long the designated body, whoever you endorsed through, for example, if it is through Tech Nation, if they do not withdraw the endorsement, you can continue to extend. Uh, you would not need to obtain a new endorsement in that regard. The extension will be for how long? Again, for five years. But do note that if someone completes five years in general, under the exceptional talent, they can apply for indefinite leave to remain. So they don't need to apply for another unless there is something unusual. To Absolutely. Happen. Now, the unusual things can be, for example, if they had a significant number of absences away from the UK. So currently it is working at 180 days. So if someone exceeds that and say, for example, had spent the majority of the time on that visa, outside of the UK due to projects and so forth. There are exceptional grounds, but I think that's a different topic altogether. Someone can apply to extend. Otherwise, generally, if you've maintained your life in the UK, you can apply for indefinitely. Thank you. Shupri Darshak Sruta, after you have seen LB24 Tatha One Bangla TV, you have seen the law and action of the Shibri Sadiq program. Today, we have seen the immigration advisor, Mr. Abdul Kadir. We have seen the law and action of the immigration advisor, Mr. Abdul Kadir. We have seen the law and action of Exceptional Talent Visa ने। हमरा एपोर्जुन तो ज्यादा दुःख जानते पड़ लाम। जब Tier One Exceptional Talent Visa माध्यम में हमरा ऑने की विशेष करे जरा Non EU, other than European country थे के ऑने की जुक्तराज्य की और तो तथा यूके ते आश्ते पड़े। जो दी तादेव जे Exceptional Talent जे Criteria गुलो आछे, जेटा Home Officer Site आप रा पे थक बन। शिक्षणे विस्तरी तो दे आछे, जे कारा इटर जुनो Qualify करते पड़े। इतने मुद्दे हमरा जानते पड़ लाम, जे ए विषय टा जो दी शुचिक बाबे कोडा होए, ताहले इखने जे दुई टो Stage कोथा बोला आछे, Stage One, Stage Two, Stage One एक टा Endorsement कोथा बोला आछे, एवं Endorsement जो दी होए जाए, तले highly likely धोरे नया जाए, जे Stage Two ते अपनी Visa पाबे, एवं प्रथम Visa टा अपन पांच बच्चों चार मासिक जुनो पाचन आर जो दी ये पांच बच्चों चार मास कुनो रोकोम बेथी क्रम छाड़ा अपनी जो दी पांच बच्चों चार मास शेष करते पारें और तब पांच बच्चों शेष करते पारें ताली किन्तु अपनी इंडेफिनेट लिप्टरी मेनेज जुन्नो ये देशे अप्लाई करते पारें एवं परोपकारिते होय तो बा अपनी प्रेसिडे� during these five years and four months, yes. uh, does it need to have any solvency again in this country? Does it need to show that, yes, he or she has that much money in the account? In regards to the maintenance criteria, there isn't a particular maintenance requirement for the extension. Now, when someone is applying for an extension of leave, like I say, the endorsement would generally remain, but they would also have to, I mean, one thing I didn't catch up on is they would also have to ensure that they were paid in the field of their speciality. So, for example, if someone was coming to the UK under, um, again, digital technology, their, their role would, something that the Home Office would be looking onto, is that they need to maintain their employment within that field accordingly. So this is something that the Home Office would be looking at. And another thing, when you get this endorsement, when your company endorses you, do you need to have a particular amount of salary? Not with this particular application, no. It doesn't come into a particular amount. Because what the exceptional talent really looks at, or where the Home Office would be looking at, is that you are a leader in your field, or aspiring to become a leader in that field. So it doesn't really focus on a particular amount that you need to earn, as, say, other points-based type categories. ओके, अमी आरो एक तो प्रश्न करूँगा, जे जो दी क्यों एक्सेप्शनल टैलेंट शबे अश्लो, ताले की तार जे स्पाउस, बतार जे फैमिली मेंबर, तारों की पश्चापशी वीजा पाबे, ना कि तादो जो नाला द कोड एप्लिकेशन करते होंगे। इट इस ए सेपरेट एप्लिकेशन दैट यू हैव टू मेक, इट इस ए कॉस्ट ऑफ़ 602 पाउंड्स um, and they can, yes, come to the UK accordingly. So, the question is, if the family member is here, do you have the NHS surcharge? Absolutely. The immigration health surcharge is applicable to all immigration applications. So, they would have to be paying £200 per year, which will come to £1,000 as it's for five years. And they, this is a fee that they will have to pay. Okay. So, let me ask you a question about exceptional talent. एक तरह जो कैटेगरी बोला है, शेख कैटेगरी टा 
একটা মানুষ কিভাবে জানতে পারবে যে বুঝতে পারবে যে আসলে আমি এটার মধ্যে ক্যাটাগরিতে পড়ি তো সেই জন্য কি সে হোম অফিসে ডাইরেক্ট স্টেজ ওয়ানে অ্যাপ্লিকেশন করবে নাকি সে একটা কোয়েরি করতে পারে আই উড অলওয়েজ রেকমেন্ড দ্য নিড টু ডু রিডিং there are a lot of guidelines and guidances on the home office that you can really have a look at the tier one exceptional talent guidance is a good document to have a look at as always you can obtain legal advice that is absolutely fine but i do feel that if someone is aspiring to look at that as a prospective application have a look at the guidance you can look at appendix l which is part of the immigration rules which looks at endorsement as a whole and gives you that criteria of what a competent body would be looking at so that would be two good things i would suggest someone to really focus on if they're considering to make this application ekhon jodi bishoy ta erokom hoy je ekjon bangladeshi national but he or she is living in another country like in eu but originally he is from bangladesh yeah can he make an application absolutely he can do so and again i would recommend he goes through that appropriate research and makes the endorsement request accordingly through the application process and moves forward accordingly ওকে তো এই ক্ষেত্রে আমি আবারও বলছি যে যদি ন্যাশনালিটি এক দেশের অর্থাৎ বাংলাদেশি ন্যাশনালিটি এবং উনি থাকতেছেন আরেক দেশে সেই ক্ষেত্রে অ্যাপ্লিকেশনটা কি বাংলাদেশের থ্রুতে করতে হবে নাকি সে যে দেশে বসবাস করতেছে লাইক ইন সৌদি অর ইন এনি আদার কান্ট্রি ওই দেশ থেকে করতে হবে উইথ অল ইমিগ্রেশন অ্যাপ্লিকেশন সো লং অ্যান অ্যাপ্লিকেন্ট ইজ এবল টু রিজাইড ইন দ্যাট পার্টিকুলার কান্ট্রি অফ অ্যাপ্লিকেশন ওয়ে দে মেক ইন ইট ফ্রম they are fine to make that application for the endorsement accordingly because do note the endorsement is not an immigration application that they're making this is the second stage which comes through the visa application so if someone was resident in saudi arabia as you are saying they can make that application the general criteria is they should have 3 months more or well 3 months of residence at the very least for the duration of the application ami arekta question kore ami birotite jabo seta holo je ei je extension er bapar ta ashe kimba after 5 years uh, he or she can go for ila yeah. but during this 5 years jodi tar kono misconduct hoye thake jodi kono criminal offense hoye thake eti ki poroborti application e is is it going to affect it depends because again when someone is looking to make an application under indefinite leave to remain not just for the extension there is a criteria that if they have had criminal offenses that will affect their indefinite leave to remain application as a whole now under the general grounds of refusal for a visa extension that is separate the home office is much more lenient in that regard so our suggestion or our advice would be someone should apply for an extension of leave dependent on the actual conviction they've received if that then goes away from the timeline because with indefinite leave to remain there is a 2 year criteria for criminal offenses for example when someone goes over the 2 years they can then make that application for indefinite leave and that would be better to do again to ensure the application is successful thank you mr kadir darshak shrota dekhte dekhte amra ekta birutir porjay chole aschi amra je kotha ta pray boli je jodi ei onushthaner madhye apni kono paramorsho peye thaken jehetu amra immigration bishoye kotha bolchi hoyto ba ei onushthaner alochcho bishoyer kono bishoye apnar sompork আপনার যে সমস্যা সেই সমস্যার সাথে সম্পৃক্ত থাকতে পারে তাই আমরা অনুরোধ করব যদি আলোচনার মাধ্যমে আপনি কোনো পরামর্শ পেয়ে থাকেন এটার মুখ্য উদ্দেশ্য হলো যে আপনার ধারণাটাকে আরেকটু স্পষ্ট করা আমরা পরামর্শ করব যে এই সমস্ত অন এয়ার ভিত্তিক আলোচনার মাধ্যমে আপনি যে পরামর্শ পেয়ে থাকেন সেই পরামর্শের উপর ভিত্তি করে আপনি কোনো সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করবেন না আমাদের পরামর্শ থাকবে আপনি আরও বিস্তারিত জানুন এবং সম্ভব হলে আপনি আপনার নিকটস্থ আইনজীবীর সাথে দেখা করে সে বিষয়ে আরও বিস্তারিত জেনে তারপরে সে বিষয়ে আপনি আপনার অ্যাপ্লিকেশন দাখিল করতে পারেন দর্শক শ্রোতা আমরা একটা বিরতিতে যাচ্ছি বিরতির পর আবার ফিরে আসব সঙ্গে থাকবেন ধন্যবাদ সালাম আলাইকুম Whoever offers a sacrifice after prayer has completed his rituals and has followed the way of the Muslims. Last year, we reached thousands of disadvantaged people in Africa, Middle East, India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh who enjoyed meat due to your great sacrifice on Qurbani. We ensured healthy animals with the highest care on behalf of you. Please continue your trust on us. Share your Qurbani sacrifice with Human Relief Foundation. Call 02070604422. Regent's Lake, a beautiful venue in the heart of Tower Hamlets. in an inspiring location by Victoria Park and the Regent's Canal accommodating for up to 600 guests perfect for small large and segregated weddings specializing in all types of events giving you exclusive in-house catering facilities 
Regent's Lake, your perfect choice. If you've had an accident and that was not your fault, let Unicorn fight for your rights. Don't know where to take the car after an accident? Let Unicorn recover your car 24 hours a day. We provide prompt accident recovery and vehicle replacement. Want someone to help fight for your rights for a non-fault accident? Let Unicorn help you to recover from the losses you have suffered from. Our specialist solicitors provide full legal representation. Thinking of hiring a car to suit an occasion? Let Unicorn provide you an amazing car collection. We provide any sort of vehicle for private hire for any purpose. Unicorn, we provide the right car for the right purpose. Sitting in a broken car after a non-fault accident and thinking of what to do? Let Unicorn replace your vehicle right now. We provide replacement vehicle hire. Unicorn, your non-fault claim assistant and vehicle hire. Impression Events Venue's 10th year anniversary discount of £1,000 for all 2018 functions. For bookings, call 0207 473 4455. Mint Caterers. Caterers bring taste and glamour to your event. PCO claims minicab driver or bivodor bondhu gari accident horiya jobless hoar din shesh. Just one phone call. PCO claims afnar dito pare 24 hours recovery, immediate replacement car, storage and repair service. O to O seven seven nine one double seven double nine. Impression Events Venue's 10th year anniversary discount of £1,000 for all 2018 functions. For bookings, call 0207 473 4455. Isn't dad come back home? When a marriage breaks down, children suffer the most. If you're in this situation, we are here to help. For child and family matters, Kingdom Solicitors. Amadir community te cargo business er prashar ghoti ase GMG. Ek joger o beshi shomoy dhore GMG astar sathe steva diye jacche. Sosta bikaponi protorito haben na. GMG Bangladesh Biman on Mudito, Akmatru, Cargo Sales Agent. Cargo Shevanile, Best Shevatin in Nirapotakun, GMG Cargo. Asta, Obisho Sutter Pratik. Whoever offers a sacrifice after prayer has completed his rituals and has followed the way of the Muslims. Last year, we reached thousands of disadvantaged people in Africa, Middle East, India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh who enjoy meat due to your great sacrifice on Kurbani. We ensured healthy animals with highest care on behalf of you. Please continue your trust on us. Share your Kurbani sacrifice with Human Relief Foundation. Call 0207 060 4422. Assalamu alaikum, Shukri Dashwit Sruta. Piruti Pura Abar Fira Ashlam, Shami Thakar Juna Dhunnobad. Aapra Dekhshi Lene, One Bangla TV Air, Aapra Dekhshi Bharo Lagar Anushtan, Law and Action at Shibri Sadiq Program T. Aaj Aamra Kotha Bul Chilam, UK Immigration Air, Tier 1 Exceptional Talent and Entrepreneur Breeze Niya. Aamra Iti Mudde, Tier 1 Exceptional Talent Niya, Ani Golo Bishoye Aamra Chanthi Peri Chhi, Aamadar Aaj Kher Aamun Chito Immigration Advisor Janab Abdul Qadir. আমরা জানতে পেরেছি যে tier 1 exceptional visa এর মাধ্যমে যে দুটো স্টেজ আছে একটা হলো স্টেজ 1 এবং স্টেজ 2 স্পেশাল স্টেজ 1 এ যে এন্ডোর্সমেন্টের কথাটা বলা হয়েছে যদি এন্ডোর্সমেন্ট পাওয়া যায় হোম অফিস থেকে তাহলে হাইলি লাইকলি আপনি স্টেজ 2 তে আপনি अप्रুভাল হবেন এবং আপনাকে ইনিশিয়ালি 5 বছর 4 মাসের ভিসা দেওয়া হবে পরবর্তীতে 5 বছর পরে যদি সবকিছু ঠিকঠাক থাকে হয়তোবা 5 বছর পরে আপনি 
আইএলআর অর্থাৎ ইনডেফিনিট লিভ টু ডিমেইনের জন্য ইউকেতে অ্যাপ্লাই করতে পারবেন পরবর্তীতে হয়তো বা আপনি ব্রিটিশ সিটিজেনশিপের জন্য যেতে পারেন তো আমরা অনেকগুলো বিষয় জানতে পেরেছি যে এখানে ফি কত লাগবে কত দিনের জন্য ভিজা পাওয়া যাবে এবং অন্যান্য ক্রাইটেরিয়া সম্বন্ধে জানতে পেরেছি দর্শক শ্রোতা প্রায়ই আমরা একটা বিষয় বলে থাকি আবারও বলছি যে এই অনুষ্ঠানের মাধ্যমে আপনারা যদি কোনো পরামর্শ পেয়ে থাকেন দয়া করে সেই পরামর্শের উপর ভিত্তি করে আপনি কোনো সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করবেন না দয়া করে আমাদের পরামর্শ থাকবে যে এই বিষয়ের মাধ্যমে আপনি আরও বিস্তারিত জানতে চেষ্টা করুন নিজে পড়াশোনা করুন কিংবা যদি নেহায়তি আপনার কোনো সাহায্য নিতে হয় মনে করব আমরা পরামর্শ দেই ইমিগ্রেশনের ক্ষেত্রে সাহায্য নেওয়াটাই ভালো যদি আপনি আপনার কোনো নিকটস্থ ইমিগ্রেশন অ্যাডভাইজারের সাথে দেখা করে সে বিষয়ে বিস্তারিত জেনে তারপরে আপনি আপনার অ্যাপ্লিকেশন করেন তাহলে সেখানে সাকসেসফুল হওয়ার সম্ভাবনা খুবই বেশি আসুন আমরা আলোচনায় অগ্রসর হই আমরা এক্সেপশনাল ভিজা নিয়ে কথা বলছিলাম এক্সেপশনাল ট্যালেন্ট টিয়ার ওয়ান নিয়ে এই বিষয়ে আর একটু কথা বলে আমরা পরবর্তীতে চলে যাব এন্টারপ্রেনারতে মিস্টার কাদির যে কথাটা আমরা বলছিলাম যে আপনি অনেকগুলো বিষয় বলছেন অ্যান্ড ইউ ডিট কাভার ভেরি নাইসলি প্রশ্ন থেকে যায় যে এটার কি কোনো লিমিটেশন আছে কি না যে গভর্নমেন্ট দে উইল অ্যালাউ সার্টেন নাম্বার অফ এক্সেপশনাল ট্যালেন্ট ইন এ ইয়ার That is, yes, there is, and there is an endorsement process of 2,000 um, in terms of the limitation that the Home Office has in effect, and it works in two, way, two stages. Again, from April to September, the Home Office enables 1,000 endorsements as part of that particular timeline in any given year, and following that, from the following October to 5th of April, there is that remaining 1,000. Now, if there are any remaining endorsements, with the initial period from April to September that will move on to the latter period from October to April. So the year in, is mm-hmm. April to April? April to April, yes, that is correct. But then the Home Office breaks it down in two, two. in between. And they provide a thousand endorsements for the initial period, which is from the 6th of April to the 30th of September, to be a bit more specific. And the latter thousand between the 1st of October till 5th of april and that is the 2000 the arekta bishoy jana dorkar hoye jay je ei je 2000 bola hoyeche je 2000 endorse korbe home office ebong it's other than eu kintu onnanno je desh rest of the world shekhane ki kono country quota ache kina je ei desh theke ei koyta ba oi desh theke ei koyta naki ek desh theke 1000 jon hote that is correct someone can anyone can make this application but with designated bodies the home office provides a limitation For example, with Tech Nation, uh, there is a limitation of 200 endorsements out of the 2,000. So, that is the category of the skill, the skill of the skill of the skill? That is correct, there is, there is, yes. Okay, I will ask you a question about exceptional talent. Do you think that our Bangladeshi applicant is not going to be success rate that there is a but you can say that there are a lot of Bangladeshis who can really apply for it? Absolutely. I think Bangladesh has been improving and moving forward with time. Technology has played a key role. Social media again has played a key role. And that has led to a lot of advances in people's ideas and innovation. So as always, someone working in the film industry, for example, and wanted to look at this particular category, they can most certainly do so. If someone within the medical field works with the national board, say within Bangladesh more specifically, can look at this particular category as well in order to come to the UK under the exceptional talent. So it just doesn't focus. I know we've been talking about tech nation and digital technology. It goes into different aspects as well. For example, engineering, if anyone has been involved within that sector for a few decades, as an example, they can go into this exceptional talent route and they can look at that. দর্শক শ্রোতা আপনারা শুনলেন আমাদের আজকের অতিথির মাধ্যমে যে হ্যাঁ বাংলাদেশেও অনেক ক্যান্ডিডেট আছেন আপনারা যারা ইচ্ছা করছেন যে আপনারা অন্য কোনো দেশে ইমিগ্রেন্ট হতে চান সেটা আপনার যে স্কিল আপনার যে অ্যাকাডেমিক ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড আছে এটার উপর ভিত্তি করে আপনি যদি করতে চান তাহলে আমরা বলবো যে হোয়াই ডোন্ট ইউ গো থ্রু ইট ইউকে ইমিগ্রেশন যদিও খুবই পরিবর্তনশীল কিন্তু একটা ভালো বিষয় হলো যে তাদের যে গাইডলাইন দেয়া থাকে যে গাইডেন্স দেয়া থাকে প্রতিটা অ্যাপ্লিকেশনের জন্য যে গাইডলাইন দেয়া থাকে এগুলো কিন্তু অত্যন্ত বিস্তারিত এবং সেলফ এক্সপ্লেনেটরি আমরা যদি এই বিষয়গুলোকে ফলো করি তাহলে কিন্তু আমাদের অনেকেরই এই জাতীয় এক্সেপশনাল ট্যালেন্টের মাধ্যমে টিয়ার ওয়ান বিজার মাধ্যমে আমরা ইউকেতে আসতে পারি এবং এই সুযোগগুলো আমরা গ্রহণ করতে পারি দর্শক শ্রোতা এই পর্বে আমরা আলোচনা করব টিয়ার ওয়ান এন্টারপ্রেনার ভিজা নিয়ে মিস্টার কাদির ইয়েস What is the difference between, between Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa and Tier 1 Exceptional Talent Visa? 
Well, the entrepreneur visa is for someone who is with a business background looking to enter the UK and set up a business and move that forward. The exceptional talent is someone who has worked in a particular field and want, wants to maintain that work and work in a, a speciality sector. The entrepreneur, coming back to that point, is if someone has experience or has a business set up overseas and wants to set this up in the UK, this is a category they would be looking at. Okay. I mean, entrepreneur, I have a question about exceptional talent. Tell me. Immigration is an English actor. At a Bishoy Jorituas, shop Katrijano, English actor, question, at a criteria, at a condition. Exceptional talent, Katriki, Rukum Kuno condition, I say. There is not, and there is actually within the guidance, you can have a look at a particular point, as when it comes to English language, the Home Office does not look at that criteria because they feel you are a talented national already looking to aspire, as if it may be. So they, this is not a requirement. For this application. Okay. Then, if we are talking about the entrepreneur visa, you have said that the entrepreneur, someone who has established business in his uh, country or somewhere in the world, that if he wants to relocate through another business, the question is that there is no uh, particular amount of money to be Yes, I mean, there works in two ways um, or two pro two different amounts. There is a fifty thousand pound investment that someone can look to meet as a particular criteria. Or the two hundred thousand. Now, the difference between the two, quite specifically, is the fifty thousand requires someone to obtain an investment from a venture capital firm, which is an investment body. So they will go with an idea to a particular body or an investment firm, and they will receive that uh, amount. Akuni investment firm ta kotha kar hota hobe. That can be. This is within the UK. Someone obtaining going to an investment fund. And obtain it. So they will go with the idea, portray that accordingly, and they will receive that 50,000 investment as a bare minimum. At times, I mean, past experiences, it can be much more, depending on the idea. Then uh, the difference is the difference is like this that the 50,000 is you are going to get from someone else, and 200,000 is your own money? Well, within the 200,000 also, someone can obtain third party funding. So okay. the venture capital firm is through an investment body. Now where, if, I mean, if we take Bangladesh, for example, we have very rich migrants and wealthy migrants there. And if parents was to provide funding to their child, as an example, that 200,000 criteria could be met accordingly through third party funding. Okay. I mean, I do it a category or 50,000 and 200,000. Uh, how to start it from the beginning? I mean, two-tak alada kore jante chache. Chhi keu fifty thousand ajuna shuru korte chache, keu two hundred thousand ajuna shuru korte chache. How to start it? It works quite similarly, I would say, because I think the initial preparation with any application uh, on the entrepreneur is coming back to the business idea that you have and what you want to set up. Because when you will be going in front of an investment firm, they are actually investing not just in yourself but into your idea. Now, this is again something incorporated within the Tier 1 Entrepreneur Guidance as well, which is the Home Office looking at whether you are setting up a genuine business in the UK. So it works quite together, I would say, with the 50,000 as well as the 200,000, because you would need to have the idea, and that is the core focus of this application. Tali, uh, when you say the genuine, there is a question of discretion here. Yes. Exceptional talent character endorsement Ekane entrepreneur visa khetre erokum kono prior endorsement bepara se na ki direct application. This is just a direct application. It is very different to the exceptional talent application. The entrepreneur requires funding, a business idea. Um, we'll, I'm sure we'll come to it. The English language and the maintenance criteria. So these are the core requirements for this application. So funding, thahle ki funding er arrangement age kutto hobe. Someone agreed to fund me. That is correct. That is correct. Now, when it comes to providing proof of funds, the Home Office guidelines has this timeline of 90 days that you should have held the monies in your account, or if it was third party account in a third party account, those funds should have been held for that timeline. Now, again, there is a stipulation within the guidelines that if it is less than 90 days. Uh, of the holding the funds, you can still you would still need to provide evidences accordingly of proof or source of funds uh, as part of that application. Okay, I mean, Arok is Bishoy Janti Chabo, Kendu Tarpur Ami a Takar Bishota Janti Chachi. Someone, if they have the money, they don't want to go for any funding 
or any other people that who will fund them. I have the money, I want to apply for it. Can I do it? Yes, absolutely, 100%, you can do so. But it is important to look at the application as a whole. I mean, this is our advice generally, and the type of business you want to set up. But so long you have the funds, this is the main criteria with this application. Akon, applicant jodi nijer taka dekhate chai, akon taka to overseas. Yes. Prosna theke jai, shei taka, how the money is disposable? Yes. So the entrepreneur application works on a point system. Okay, there is 95 points that you'll need to meet. Now, 25 points as part of the initial criteria is to provide access to funds. The latter 25 points um, to meet the f uh, to come to 50 points is to show that it is held in a regulated institution in that particular country. So, if it was in Bangladesh, I mean, I'm sure there will, it will have to be a recognisable bank accordingly. The remaining 25 points to meet the full 75 points is you'll need to provide confirmation that the funds can be transferred or accessible to you to in, in the UK. Okay. So, Jodi documentary evidence is PBS point based system and the applicant has the access to this money and disposable when he needs Absolutely. or she needs. এর সাথে কি আরো কোনো ডকুমেন্টারি এভিডেন্স আছে এই ক্ষেত্রে কি ইংলিশের কোনো ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজের কোনো কন্ডিশন আছে Yes there is a B1 level requirement that uh, an applicant would need to meet as part of this application for the entrepreneur I know with the exceptional talent that is not required but with this application yes দর্শক শ্রোতা আমরা যখন B1 বলি সাম্প্রতিক সময়ে এই ইংলিশ টেস্ট যখন বা ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ যখন একটা কন্ডিশন হয়ে দাঁড়ালো তখন একটা ফ্রেমওয়ার্ককে দাঁড় করানো হলো সেটাকে বলা হয় CEFR কমন ইউরোপিয়ান ফ্রেমওয়ার্ক রেফারেন্স আপনারা যারা IELTS এর সাথে পরিচিত আছেন তারা দেখবেন যে এটার একটা কনভারশন করা আছে আপনারা যেমন আমরা এখন B1 নিয়ে কথা বলছি B1 এর একটা কনভারশন আছে যেটা আপ টু 4.4 টু 5 এটা হলো আপনার B1 এবং মোর দ্যান 5 5 অনওয়ার্ড সেটা হয়ে যাবে B2 এরকম ক্যাটাগরির কথা বলা আছে সেখানে সো আপনারা যদি ইংলিশ টেস্ট সম্বন্ধে আপনারা জানতে চান তাহলে CEFR এটা যদি আপনারা সার্চ করেন গুগলে যদি আপনারা CEFR দিয়ে সার্চ করেন তাহলে B1 কিংবা অন্যান্য যে সমস্ত লেভেলগুলো দেওয়া আছে সেই লেভেলের ইকুইভ্যালেন্ট IELTS এ কি হতে পারে সেটা আপনারা বিস্তারিত সেখানে জানতে পারবেন मिस्टर কাদির তো just to add on that point, just okay. to cut you in, just to add on that point, I mean, that is correct. They should have a look at that framework. Second of all, the Home Office has a list of approved centres. So if right. someone making yeah. an application from Bangladesh, as always, they should ensure that they go through an approved centre. Because as we know, culturally, I mean, again, there are centres that may not be uh, approved. So it is something At the moment, I think, is British Council uh, and uh, uh, Trinity. That is correct. Trinity. Okay. So... যেটা আমরা বলছিলাম যে সেটা 50000 হোক অর 200000 হোক তাকে 50000 কেউ ফান্ডিং এর মাধ্যমে হতে পারে কিন্তু যেহেতু অধিকাংশ অ্যাপ্লিকেন্ট তারা চাইবে যে ফান্ডিং ঝামেলার হতে পারে সো আই উইল হ্যাভ মাই ওন মানি এন্ড আই উইল জাস্ট মেক অ্যান অ্যাপ্লিকেশন ইয়েস তাহলে সেই সেই ক্ষেত্রে সে অনেকগুলো ডকুমেন্ট দিল ব্যাংকের কাগজ দিল তারপর তার ইংলিশ পেপার দিল প্রশ্ন থেকে যায় যে মোটামুটি সব কিছু দেওয়ার পরেও অনেক সময় রিফিউজ হয় ইয়েস এই রিফিউজের কারণগুলো সাধারণত কি কমন মিস্টেক গুলো কোথায় হয় দ্যাট কামস ডাউন টু দ্য বিজনেস প্ল্যান अगेन व्हेन समवन इज मेकिंग एन एंटरप्रेन्योर एप्लीकेशन व्हाट द जेन्युइन एंटरप्रेन्योर टेस्ट लुक्स एट इज द होम ऑफिस और द इंटरक्लेरेंस ऑफिसर विल जनरली फोकस ऑन द प्लान दैट यू हैव प्रोवाइडेड विद एप्लीकेशन दे विल लुक एट योर प्रीवियस एक्सपीरियंसेस इज व्हेदर दिस इज अ वायबल बिजनेस दैट यू कुड सेट अप in the UK. So someone can say provide the best of plans but maybe not include references of their previous experiences to show that you know they can really be successful in creating this business in, in the UK and that can be one of the reasons why an application can be turned down. তাহলে বিজনেস প্ল্যান এখানে একটা বিরাট ভূমিকা রাখতেছে এবং এটাকে কি এইভাবে ক্যাটাগরাইজ করা যায় যে বিজনেস প্ল্যানটা এরকম হতে হবে যে হোয়াটস ইউর অ্যাকচুয়াল বিজনেস প্ল্যান হোয়াটস ইউর প্রজেকশন what's your experience uh, 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 in, in relating to this particular business and mm. what actually you are going to get end of the year 
Definitely, I think that is correct. I mean, that is the general core of a business plan. But I think once we break down a business plan, sometimes when we're preparing a, for an application, we, we tend to inflate, say, the projections that we may be uh, uh, getting as an income into the business. But I feel that you, know, you have to look at the more general criteria is, where will you set up your business when you're coming to the UK? Because this is one thing an individual I've seen uh, with applications, someone lacks on providing the business plan of where they will actually set up, how they will generally look to move forward. Is there a plan B if something does not work? Because do you know, a lot of migrants, when they're making an application, they may not have been to the UK before. So that is something like I would say, crit plan yes, critically, this is something they will need to look at. Because again, in conjunction with the business plan, if you are interviewed by the Home Office or the Interference Officer, they will ask you those particular questions, is if it goes wrong, what will happen or what will you decide to do? Is it a part of this application process or it may happen? It may happen. There is no 100% criteria or requirement that it should happen. But we've seen with the majority of entrepreneur applications, the Home Office does go through an interview process. Okay. কোথায় সে বিজনেস করতে যাচ্ছে সো এই যে এরিয়া লোকেশনটা এই এরিয়া লোকেশনের কি কোনো স্পেসিফিকেশন আছে যে এটা লন্ডনে হওয়া যাবে না কিংবা আদার দেন লন্ডন হতে হবে কিংবা ওই সমস্ত সিটিতে করা যাবে না বা এখানে করতে হবে দেয়ার ইজ এন আ পার্টিকুলার রেস্ট্রিকশন ইন দ্যাট রিগার্ড বাট আই থিংক ওয়েন ইট কামস ডাউন টু প্রিপেয়ারিং ফর ইয়ার বিজনেস প্ল্যান ইট ইজ ভাইটাল দ্যাট ইউ গিভ এন আউটলাইন অফ ওয়ে ইউ উইল সেট আপ এন্ড হাউ ওয়েদার ইউ ডান দ্য রিসার্চ in or in the surrounding area is there any other type of business that actually operates in a similar field so these are things that we would want you to really have a look at when preparing for a business plan okay so you have a business plan you have mm. your fund ready uh, and you have gone through the interview successfully and you got the visa yes but once you are in uk your business plan said that you you would set up a business in manchester But then you decided that no, Manchester is not a good place for me. Mm. I'll do it in London or somewhere other than Manchester. Yeah. Can they switch the location? They can do. They can do. And we have seen that happen. Um, as always, sometimes something does not work for a in particular individual and that business may not happen. And if they decided to relocate, you can submit to the Home Office exceptional circumstances in order to give an outline why you decided to relocate. And again, you'll need to provide evidences of how that transition happened. So it must be that, you know, if you intended to set up in Manchester, you did do so. And later on, say after six months or 12 months, it did not work, you moved to London. So you'll need to ensure that you maintain and retain all the evidences. So with an extension application, you'll have all of that available in order to provide. So like the relocation, can the business itself be changed to a new business? You can do. It is a tough question because again, the Home Office, they do not like that as a general criteria that you, know, you look at a prospective outline, we've given you approval under that particular outline and now you've suddenly changed and three years later, as part of an extension, you've decided to go into a new industry altogether. That can happen. But as always, again, under exceptional circumstances, you look to give an outline on what went wrong and how you decided to set up this new business and move forward from there. Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Entrepreneur visa, is there any age limit? Number one. Number two, as you said, that you will have to have B1 English yeah. uh, as a condition. So, do you have any age limit? Yes, they have to be 18 or over. There is maximum? Is there any maximum? There isn't a particular maximum criteria on that, but it has to be um, 18 years old. Okay. Abong, air fee got to like be number one. Number two, how long does it take to get a reply, to get a result? In terms of the fees, it has two separate fees because there is an in-country application and then an, an entry clearance. It's 1,021 for the entry clearance applicants. Um, it's 1,277 pounds for someone looking at making an application in the UK. Okay. Our Jodi visa there hoy, tahle koto dinner juno. The entry clearance is for three years and four months. Um, in terms of a leave to remain in country is for three years. Okay. Tahle ki tada abar extension kutu pade, end of three years, four months. Yes, they can apply for an extension and the extension generally would come down to a period of two years 
is what they will be extending for. There is a different criteria for that. Um, just to come back on the point, in terms of the length of time it will take um, to process an application, on average, an entry clearance works between 15 working days and, and two months. Leave to remain in country, you're, you're looking at 12 to 16 weeks. Okay. Jodi kono karone refuse hoy, shekhetre, which one is better to make a fresh application or to make an appeal? It depends on the grounds. Now, again, if the Home Office consider that your business plan is not something that is viable, because again, don't forget, you may meet the criteria of the funding. You will meet the criteria, for example, of the English language, the maintenance. So it really comes down to the, uh, the grounds of refusal that have been raised, whether you should consider an appeal process or go for a new application. Okay. Uh, so, entrepreneur visa khetre abar shi prosno ta theke jai je amra chesta kuri amader ei onushthaner maddhome amader nijoshyo community ke ei bishoy gulo janate jodi er maddhome amader kono potential jodi community member jara bangladesh e achen kimba ei deshe visit visa e aschen onara jodi ei bishoy guli jante paren tahole ei bishoy ta niye aro onara bistarito jene application korte paren prosno theke jai je apnar obhiggotay ki bole je ei entrepreneur visa bangladesh theke onek application hocche kintu je kono karone hok shegulo refuse hocche Absolutely. I think, I mean, just taking an example, I mean, in terms of the garments industry, it is a massive industry in Bangladesh. Now, where individual businesses would want to look at relocating to the UK, this is an ideal type business that they have been successful overseas. And if they want to replicate or create an establishment in the UK, this is something they can do. Absolutely. But after many uboy khetri, even exceptional talent, kim by entrepreneur, prosno theke jai je jara refuse hoy, after an issue eru kom onik refuse application pan. She khetri koon bishoy gulo karone shadon to tarar refuse hoy. Well, with both applications, it comes down to the lack of, say, documents or information you may not have included that you would have available. So it is important that you really look at the documents and give it enough time when you're preparing for an application rather than just rushing it through and say just completing an online application. This is not something that we would generally recommend. So always, always go back to the documents that you are providing with any application that you'll be making in order to ensure you meet the requirements. Check the guidelines. There is a lot of appendixes that you can have a look at to give you a criteria of what certain information that is necessary for example, um, with an entrepreneur application, on a bank letter, they may not date it. So an application could be refused on that ground on its own. I mean, it, it is a very menial reason, but that could happen unless the uh, entry clearance officer accepts that. Okay, I'd like to prostitute for the exceptional talent Kimba entrepreneur. If you have a job, you have a job, you have a job, you have a job, what they can do or what they can't do uh, while they are in UK. So, what is the guideline? Yes. What is the guideline? Yes. What is the guideline? Yes. Now, coming on to the point of the exceptional talent, um, someone can work employed, self employed, but primarily focusing on the field that they have made the endorsement under. This is important. In regards to someone going on to a tail on entrepreneur, they will be looking at exercising that particular business. So, it shouldn't be someone um, looking at an alternative industry altogether. They should focus on the business that they intend to set up. Exceptionally, Khetre, Taraki self employed. Yes, they can be self employed so long it is within the field that they have submitted the endorsement. So under. they can be solely self employed if it is within the field. Absolutely. Abong entrepreneur Khetre, Taraki employed. No, they cannot take direct employment with another employer. Now, if they set up a limited company, uh, as always, they may be under the PAYE and so forth. So that is an employment on its own, but they will be a director of a company. It's that they will not have the access to public fund. No, they will not have access to public funds. Entrepreneur visa is not available to visa, but you can do family with your family? Yes, they can do so. They can bring in their family members to the UK. Okay, you said health search charge, which is the amount of money, but the amount of money is the amount of money. What is the amount of money? What is the amount of money? What is the amount of money? Uh, to the ele electoral district in Well, they can register for that, yes. Once they're resident in the UK, they can register for that and then they can proceed with the electrical, electoral rights accordingly. But I believe there is a residential criteria for that, for them to meet so that they can exercise their voting rights 
to be quite specific. Okay, now I will give you uh, 30 seconds or slightly more than 30 seconds to tell your viewers, especially those who are living in abroad, Bangladeshi viewers, to say a few words in few words that what they should do and uh, to welcome them to UK. Always, I think, when someone is looking to make an application, preparation is so important. Um, and I think that you should obtain legal advice. Um, from a regulated individual. At times we've seen a lot of organisations that don't have that regulation are providing advice to individuals to make or prepare an application on their behalf. It is important you obtain the correct legal advice. If you don't trust something, go onto the Home Office website. As always, that is what it is there for in order to provide you with a guideline that what you are going forward with is making sense to you. And that is what is important. And I would urge everybody to ensure they have a look at the Home Office website, not just to trust, just the legal advice, I would say. Thank you, Mr. Kadir. I'm a dear Eonushtane Asharjun. Thank you. LB21 Poribare Pokotike, Abong Amadir Ogoni to Doshok Sutta de Pokotike, Apnare Abaro Oshesh Dunubat, Donushtane Asharjun, Amadir Keshomai Dajun. Thank you very much. Doshok Sutta, Dekti Dekti Amra Onushtane Shesh Projectual Ashlam, Amra Jekotata Bar Bar Bulli Abaro Bulchi. যে এই অনুষ্ঠানের মাধ্যমে আমরা চেষ্টা করি যুক্তরাজ্যের বিভিন্ন আইনগত বিষয়ে বিশেষ করে যেমন আজকে আমরা কথা বলছিলাম ইমিগ্রেশন সংক্রান্ত বিষয় নিয়ে এই বিষয় নিয়ে একটা ধারণা দেয়া আপনারা যারা ওভারসিসে আছেন কিংবা যুক্তরাজ্যে বসবাস করছেন তারা যারা অ্যাপ্লিকেশন এই জাতীয় সমস্যার মধ্যে আছেন কিংবা নতুন করে অ্যাপ্লিকেশন করতে চাচ্ছেন আমরা চেষ্টা করি তাদেরকে এক একটা ক্যাটাগরি অনুযায়ী প্রতি পর্বে আমরা এই বিষয়গুলো তুলে ধরতে তাই আমরা বলি যে যদি এই অনুষ্ঠানের মাধ্যমে আপনি কোনো পরামর্শ পেয়ে থাকেন যদি এই আমাদের আলোচনা আপনার কোনো সমস্যার সাথে সম্পৃক্ত হয়ে থাকে তাহলে দয়া করে এটার উপর ভিত্তি করে আপনি কোনো সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করবেন না আমরা অনুরোধ করব যে আপনি এই বিষয়ে আরও বিস্তারিত জেনে গাইডলাইনস পড়ে কিংবা আপনার কোনো নিকটস্থ আইনজীবীর সাথে দেখা করে সেই বিষয়ে তারপর সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করবেন এবং তারপরেই আপনি একটা সাকসেসফুল অ্যাপ্লিকেশন পাবেন দর্শকশ্রোতা আগামী অনুষ্ঠান দেখার আমন্ত্রণ জানিয়ে আপনাদের সুস্বাস্থ্য ও শুভকামনা করে আজকের মতো এখানেই বিদায় নিচ্ছি আমি শিবলি সাদিক আবার দেখা হবে ধন্যবাদ সালামু আলাইকুম আল্লাহ হাফিজ